Emergency response lighting systems with atoms elements that identify uh, poisons or chemical warfare, those need to go to like Tacoma Power or Puget Power to alert their panel when there is emergency of emissions of chemicals, butane, gas, fuel in the air. So those uh, emissions can go directly to the mayor office reports and also to the fire department, law enforcement, and sheriff's department. They need to know, and the military, they need to know when there are chemicals in each zip code, area code, zone, alley, tunnel, so that they'll know exactly the pinpoint location so they can send hazmat units or alert the public when there are dangerous chemicals that are falling or floating or mist or sporadic throughout because these chemical warfare can make people sick. So they need to alert people so that people won't get sick with these lighting systems, which will identify the code. They'll have sensors, just like emissions or uh, sensors that identify when there is uh, contaminants or uh, exhaust in the air. They need light systems like that. They need billboards like that that will give a digital read of the chemicals in the area so to alert the public so they can avoid it. And those systems need to be linked with the radio stations and the networks and the Navy Doppler weather reports so they can know when those chemicals are in the area. We already have a generic. The system's already there. You just have to know how to create a software to help alert the public when there are hazmat aromas in the air. Well, end of journal note.